Hey yummies, welcome back to our channel. Woo. Never have I ever done someone over text. And going back with them again. And done them again. And again. And again. If my parents are watching this, next question. If you're new, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And to the returning subscribers, Thank you for the constant love. We're growing, you know, even if it's slow, it's definitely steady. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, especially the comments. Love the interaction. Thank you so much. So today I'm going to do a little something different. <laughs> Ooh, let's hope we don't regret. But I'm going to do a little something different and play the Never Have I Ever um game that a lot of youtubers have been playing before but mine was definitely inspired by umishali your michali damase and yeah <laughs> is that you take a sip of something every single time you've done something right and if you haven't obviously you'll move right along so i went on my instagram and i asked a couple actually guys what do you think of my makeup i did this look today for the very first time by the way maybe i should come and try and do it on here why not because i feel like right now your von guys your Tandys, your Cynthia's, they are shaking wherever they are. <laughs> joking, not joking. <laughs> so I'm gonna learn how to do lashes and then, yay, I'm gonna come here and call myself a beauty YouTuber, why not? Anyway, let me not deter from what's important, which is playing the game. So, so let's get right into the game. So I did ask y'all on my Instagram to ask me um never have I ever questions so we're gonna go ahead and just answer them from uh my instagram and what we're gonna be drinking to draw is the spear mellow uh i was gonna drink the cab style from warwick because that's the one i absolutely love lately but this has always been a favorite but girl girly finished it so child gonna be rich and and fill up the entire glass mm, so many people will be disappointed at me but anyway let's get right into it clink clink oh <laughs> okay so the first one is have you guys this is ah, it's a lot hey not too much <laughs> uh the first one is have you ever had um -tum -tum -tum? translated being have you ever had or been in a relationship with someone's person or someone's partner or whatever and the quick answer is yes so i'm gonna sip The justification to this is that I really didn't know. You know, niggas. <sighs> Guys, men ain't trash. Men ain't trash. No, men are trash. 
guys kuno satana on my tongue hi bo <laughs> anyway the justification to that is that i didn't know um your guy played me basically and i got um inboxes from this girl who was out here saying you're with my man you're with my man when i asked your man's your man said nah she's crazy you guys know the story like she's the crazy girl so that's how i got to be with umdu umdu because clearly it was hers according to her but kum it was mine because i don't know about her truth and honestly have i ever dated a friend's ex-boyfriend no i haven't i think for me it's an unwritten cold rule type of vibe that i don't do that um it just gets really tense and really awkward and i don't have a lot of friends so the friends that i do have is people that i really hold dear little heart so i don't think it will ever happen that i'm gonna date their exes and i can't if you want to date with, if you want to date your friend's ex i think personally that you should um ask them especially if it was like an ex ex like they were dating for like 10 years or something like you don't want to do that unless gay bingo jj then you can definitely ask them have i ever kissed anyone the same sex as i before i mean ugh, who hasn't <laughs> My glass isn't so clean but there we move i kissed the girl and i liked it this was never the way i planned not my intention i kissed the girl and i liked it it's a stop yeah we're things happen and then the next one is Never have I ever thrown myself at a guy and he noticed nothing. <laughs> How embarrassing would that be? I have never done it, but I've definitely told a guy that I liked him and he gave me mixed signals. But this is back in high school when I started feeling all types of things as a teenager. And he was just like too cool for me type of vibe. But now he's up in my DMs and in my mentions. I'm like, baby boo. I mean, it's all over now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a romantic crush on your friend's boyfriend? Oh no, honey. Nabi. Imagine a whole romantic crush. Why are you romanticizing your friend's boyfriend? I know, please don't do that. It goes with hand in hand with the question around would you um date your friend's ex? Guys, stay away from your friend's boyfriends, please. Like obviously you can like think that they're cute, but that's it. Like you can't be romantically wanting them in that way, hi bo? Mm -mm. Have I ever fell off a bed while sleeping? <laughs> Let me think. Yes, yo. Ah. And guys, let me tell you the story. My gran and my cousin slept on top. And I never understood this. And I slept at the bottom. And I think I fell before because of that. Because clearly their feet are literally on me both of them and i used to think that was so unfair because i was the young one but my cousin liked acting like the kid so she was treated like the kid so i used to sleep at the bottom i think i'm doing pdsd yeah pdsd or some sort of trauma so why i learned but where do we move um have i ever pretended to love someone no no and i had to think about it because i mean we've pretended with a lot of things in life but that no no maybe like not love no love is just 
it's just on another tangent like it's extreme like i don't see myself pretending to love someone when i don't no uh have i ever registered a gift registered a gift i don't even know what that means um if it means you know how you have a registry for um a birthday party or wedding or whatever i haven't done that but if i've sent a gift sure i'll drink to that but yeah i'm not really sure what the question was alluding to and then the other one is never have i ever slept with socks on come on you're just trying to get me shrank <laughs> i have but they go away in the evening you all know that right you all do that as well like who sleeps like with socks on and then they're still on the following day ha -ha. don't lie and then the next question is never have i ever had a tattoo nope i haven't although i really for the long time i've always wanted one but no i haven't and then the next one is oh sorry it just jumped here because never have i ever been refused an entry to a club no i haven't no in fact interesting story this one time i can't remember three years ago um we went into some club in cape town and they wanted names on the guest list i don't know who was i with and why we were doing that but we ended up there and they said okay what's your name obviously you want to lie and and say a name that's very familiar and my name isn't my name isn't very common so i said oyama and for some odd reason oyama was on the list <laughs> and we got on the list like that or inside the club like that never have i ever fallen in love at first sight no i have not um never have i ever kissed a celebrity <laughs> Ask no question, hear no lies. <laughs> um, never have I ever. What is this? Oh, trespassed. Oh, honey. I even have a whole picture of me doing that. If I find it, I'm going to put it there. And it was in high school. <laughs> it was definitely in high school. Um... I don't know what was going on that day, but we definitely climbed the wall. Yeah, it's very odd, very odd. But yeah, I remember I have that picture because somebody tagged me on Facebook. The person I was with that day. So I'm going to try and find it and put it here. Don't judge, okay? Never, ever, ever got on a speeding ticket. No, babes. This girl is... A thriving girl this girl is a responsible girl this girl is a listen stick to the rules type of girl okay <laughs> uh, never have I ever done someone over text and gotten back with them again and dumped them again and again and again Bupilo, key level three, yeah, lockdown, buffet. The next one is never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. <laughs> I know people find this, the, uh, sorry, I know people find this disgusting, but my ex and i used to do that like all the time and the first time i did that was with my aunt funny enough like back in the days my aunt needed to use a toothbrush and she couldn't find hers and they were like who's gonna allow her aunt to use a toothbrush i was like oh you can use mine 
but i remember thinking it was disgusting me but my ex and i used to do it all the time so it is what it is never have i ever gone skinny dipping <laughs> Never have I ever hitchhiked a ride. No, sweetie. Nope. Never have I ever been to a nudist beach. Honey. I've been. Um, What is it called? Sandy Bay in Cape Town. It's very secluded. You'd have to like walk. Like, hey, yeah, you have to walk. Um, The first time I went there was actually... Was it for that? Oh, yes, it was for my radical self love campaign with Yummy Hearts and Curves. The very first one, it was like in 2014, and I remember it was so controversial, <laughs> but like in a good way. And it 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 flew, the campaign really flew around the world, and it was absolutely amazing the reach that it had and the imp impact that it had. So, I definitely have been there before, but I remember like the stares that we we're getting. Because it's mainly white people there, and obviously we were like not white, and we are not white, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna put a picture here and show you guys actually how um, the campaign turned out. And yeah, I'm really, really proud of that work, and etc. etc. These are all yeah in circles again. So let me stop. But yeah, I've been to this bitch and bitch. Why did I say bitch? I've been. I've definitely been to a nudist beach. Hey, bo. I've been to a nudist beach. Yup. I think English, yeah, I'm by this time. Or it must be the mellow, I don't know. And the last one is never have I ever lied in this game. No, baby. We are truthful here. I spoke. So, yeah, that's the game. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm so glad that, yeah. That at least there's something left because I wasn't trying to for the camera. No, cling cling. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Please subscribe if you haven't and share it with your friends, family, exes because they're probably gonna come back anyway. Um, yeah, bas, yeah, bas. And yeah, do the thing, share with to share guys. Sharing is caring, as they say. So please do that, Eva. Thank you.